But I'd love to talk about you living in New England again. Yeah, it's it still hasn't fully clicked. So, question. Because it's crazy. It's August. Yeah. What are you going to do? Are you going to stay up here? In the oh, snow? Oh, my life's in shambles, cameraman Cam. Okay. I don't know what I'm going to do. So, <laughs> okay. I think the plan is that I told driver Jamie to bring the van up. Yeah. Because in my head, I'm like, okay, I'll stay in Connecticut for August, September, October, November. And then I'm going to try to find somewhere that makes sense for me to train starting December mm. 1. Mm-hmm. So sort of close to the timeline that we had last year, I'll try to do more riding up here so that when December 1 comes around, yep. I'm further ahead than when I started December. I think I started first or second week in December last year with Jet and Hunter. The problem with that was I was completely unfit. I had no Correct. lead up prior to that to try Correct. to get fitness. And I had no riding time prior to that. So if I can mix in a tiny bit of riding, but then get my fitness to where it needs to be, which we're starting, we now. started last week. Great. And it is, it's beginning of August. Uh, I'll be in a better spot than last year. So, and that's the goal is I want to try to build each of these years. Where am I going to go this winter to train? I have no idea yet. It's okay. No idea. We'll but there. yeah, in, in New England in the meantime. And, and it's crazy because my mom lives 10 minutes away. Oh, really? The, oh. Like, w- when I was in middle school and high school, we would drive up to Crystal Ridge, which is the mansions all up here, and it was just yeah. like the dream neighborhood that everybody wanted to live in. Wow. And now we live in it, which is awesome. very cool. The yep. weather this time of year in New England, are you kidding me? It's absolutely amazing. It's just the best. It's like it's 75 to 80 every, every day, day out. At night, it gets down to low 70s or maybe high 60s, so mm-hmm. you put a sweatshirt on. It's perfect. Dude, I love it up here, man. Because we thought we could do Florida all year. I didn't think we could do it. Allie thought we could do it. But it's oppressive. I mean, you are out yep. there. It's 100 degrees every day. And the, the biggest problem is you don't get a break from it. It's not like you right. can go out at sunset and it's, you know, 75. It's still 95. Yes. It's still 90. And humid. It's still 85 and 80% humidity. It's still hor- You can't escape it. Dude, like, I told you. And here it's, oh, it's awesome. We're surrounded by farms. Like today we went to a farm and she got eggs and some flowers. It's great. It's a good life up here. It's great. I love, I love. We're going to redo our whole, we'll get an in-ground pool here. So we're just going to have like a good, just the the family house. Yeah. Family house. Family house. Family house. Now. Yeah, it's exciting. Dude, I, I was in Florida like four days after we got home from Dubai. Felt like a piece of cake. Yeah. (laughs) Felt like a piece of cake, dude. The biggest thing I could notice is like, yeah, it's hot and humid in Florida, but you can tell the difference between the sun and the shade. And in Dubai, you can't. <laughs> it oh, all no. feels the same. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's so hot in Dubai that it almost could like bring upon an anxiety attack because you feel like you can't <laughs> breathe. Yeah, no, you can't. Like when I walked out of the airport, I was like, <gasps> yeah, no, like, 100%. I, I feel just, like yeah. I'm trying to, like, I'm a fish trying to breathe. <sighs> like it was. Crazy. Crazy. But Florida's still tough. It's this hot. time of year in August, yeah, it's, hot. it's tough. Like If you can snowbird it and go back and forth, which it's I know it, it, that's a privileged thing to say. There's a lot of people that can't. But if you can, it is absolutely the move. I'm telling you, dude, I got to start. Dude, like, look at how green the grass uh, is. No, it's gorgeous up here. I'm so glad you came back. I'm so excited. This is the first trip that I've made down here since you moved up here. How was the drive? I mean, piece of cake. How 80, long was it? 89.91, like three and a half hours. Okay. It's fine. But you got to realize you and I are equal distance to almost every track. Yeah. They're like in between all of us, right? 80K, Jolly Rogers, Bro MX, MX23. Bro, well, MX23 is far Closer to me. me. Yeah. yeah. But Winchester, did you say that one yet? No, Winchester. They're all we wedged can, right in between they're, us. They're, it's probably two hours for both of us, right? Yeah. Those are all two hours for me. They're probably all two hours from you. Um, I'm just so happy you're not down there anymore. You have no idea. So I hope we can maximize on that. Um, Speaking of which, our next, we're doing a trip giveaway. Yep. I'm going to do the promo for that as soon as this podcast ends, but might as well promo it midway through. Mm -hmm. We're doing trip giveaways for people inside of the app. Try to do them as regularly as we can. The the next one was supposed to be Moto Academy Georgia, but since we're moving on from that facility, we're gonna do we're gonna fly somebody to Connecticut. 
Yep. We're going to do that in September. So make sure you guys get inside of the Moto Academy app. You'll start seeing details on how you can enter, which will be very simple. We'll just do a submission video inside or a submission picture uh, and a little write up like we did last time. It worked out pretty well. Yep. We'll have uh, Team Moto Academy pick their finalists and then I'll pick the winner and we'll do uh, we'll fly somebody into Connecticut to my hometown and then hit up a couple of New England tracks, which makes it easy for us to coordinate. Oh, it's and it's awesome. cool just because I have so much history at all of these tracks that are that are local to us. If you guys enjoyed this podcast clip and you want to listen to full episodes, go download them. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and I think that's it. Go download them there. Give them a listen. If you want to watch full episodes, which I tell you what, it's even better to do that. Go to club.themotoacademy.com because Moto Academy subscribers inside of the app have exclusive access to watch the entire episodes. And not only that, the subscribers actually can send in their questions to be answered on the podcast as well. Club.themotoacademy.com. Go subscribe.